here before Christmas. We made it at the studio we put together in 7th and Harrison, right here in San Francisco. <laughs> Put a nice school there, and um, but I have wonderful memories of, of uh, that time in my life and in the, in the, the lives of all the people that came together to work on that. And it, you know, we, we did everything we could to make it the most enjoyable, crazy, inventive film possible. Uh, and we had high hopes. The funniest thing is, you know, we, we, we made the film, it's released. Made its money, it wasn't a high budget film, and then it kind of just disappeared for a while. We were kind of sad, uh, but in time, um, what sort of happened, my grown sons were little then, and when uh, they'd go out for trick or treating with my wife and friends, I'd be manning the candy bowls, and the kids started showing up dressed as characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. More and more every year, and then eventually it was called a Disney film because it was originally released as a touchstone film. I didn't want to damage the brand, <laughs> but it's just a wonderful thing to, to um, give so much of yourself and, and a whole incredible team of people on something that sort of comes back and it lives on, and that people um, share it. Now we've got a whole night planned, and I want to break it down for you so that you under you also understand. <laughs> <laughs> because we have uh, archival 35 millimeter prints from the Disney archive <laughs> of both The Nightmare Before Christmas and Edward Scissorhands for those of you who are here for two movies. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to do this little intro. We're going to watch a trailer reel of all the movies that feature films, at least, that Henry has directed. And some of them you've seen. Some of you are already super fans. And if you are not, by the end of tonight, um, I will make sure that you are. And then after we watch that, we're bringing Henry back out. We're going to have a Q&A going throughout not just his career, but also uh, just talking about uh, pushing the boundaries of not just animation, stop animation, but cinema in general. Because The Nightmare Before Christmas is not a kid's film. Kids can watch it. But some of you, you are definitely changed. <laughs> because of even the smallest of moments. And so in that Q&A, Henry, I'm hoping that you're gonna dig deep into your past and understand the trauma. <laughs> why you have created such bizarre and inspiring movies, uh, do tell. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And just a brief sort of story that um, you know, we spent three and a half years making the movie. It was a brilliant idea and character design from Tim, uh, Caroline Thompson, um, strung all of the songs together with their screenplay. Um, and Danny Elfman wrote memorable songs. I don't think ever do it quite a bit. And at the end of the film, though, we have a rap party and everything, and Danny comes up and he shakes my hand. My word, Henry. You did a fine job illustrating my songs. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm tickled. Because everybody who worked on it feels like it's their movie. It's Tim's movie. It's my movie. It's our crew's movie. Danny, everyone, down to the um, lowliest PA, we made something pretty incredible. And I'm so happy uh, we're still celebrating it. So yeah! I'm yeah! but tonight it's all about him. Yeah! Now what I'd like to do, and this was something that uh, back in the 
silent era of films, which the Castro Theater opened in 1922. So we have silent era ghosts in this theater. They used to do raffles. And the raffle was one way to get you out of the house, come out, not just watch a movie, but they would probably give you like a plate or a cup or an egg. <laughs> Serious. And so I'd like you to pull out your ticket stub. And in the top right hand corner, there's gonna be a number. Now you also have an envelope. And the envelope is filled with Christmas cards that are designed by Sophie Caldas tonight. <laughs> She has absolutely been a, a dream to work with. She has designed countless drawings this past year for all of the movies for Maniacs events, and she couldn't stop because Henry Selleck has inspired her so much, so I think you have a hundred different drawings in your envelope. Now, you've got your ticket stub, is this right? Yeah. Thank you. Top right hand corner, which, if you look up in the top right hand corner during these movies, you'll see what? cigarette burn. And those cigarette burns are because this is being projected on a film and every 20 minutes it's changing from one projector to a second projector by our projectionist Jeff Root. Let's give it up for <laughs> actual artist up there in the booth. All right, so if you've got your number, I would love to give a very nice poster for James and the Giant Peach, autographed by Henry, to number 100. Where's the... Number 100, where are you?